Did you know that Toyota, the biggest car company, is all set to be in full swing with its electric cars lineup? With its huge sales and reach all over the world, Toyota's decisions about electric cars really matter. Dare to find out what Toyota has in store? One of the biggest automakers in the world sold an astounding 11.3 million cars last year alone. That's Toyota for you, looming large over the opposition. But are they at the forefront of the electric revolution, or are they lagging behind? Toyota is known for producing vehicles using various methods of electricity. Their primary goal is to produce cars cars that are both user-friendly and environmentally friendly. Toyota offers a variety of vehicles to suit your needs, including plug-in hybrids, completely electric vehicles, hybrids, and even cars that operate on hydrogen. They manufacture dependable cars, employ cutting-edge technology, and enjoy widespread popularity. Toyota is prepared to play a significant role in advancing the sustainability of transportation in the future. Let's examine it more closely. Ted Ogawa, the CEO of Toyota Motor North America, outlined the plan at a recent interview with Automotive News. He talked about Toyota's consumer-dependent approach to EVs, which sounds like fancy jargon but really means they're keeping their ears to the ground, listening to what you and I want. The twist is that, despite its promise to increase sales of pure electric vehicles, which account for a pitiful 0.7% of total sales in 2023, Toyota appears to be taking it cautious. They predict that by 2030, EVs will only account for 30% of the US auto market. That's a lot lower than what the Biden administration and the Environmental Protection Agency have in mind, so buckle up. Now, here's where things get interesting. You see, Toyota's been accused of dragging its feet on the electric front, but they're not the Lone Ranger in this Wild West showdown. Nope, they've got company. Think other automakers, dealer groups, and even oil giants all lobbying to water down those EPA rules. It's like a high-stakes poker game with everyone trying to bluff their way to victory. And guess what? The Biden administration seems to be dealing out a new hand, hinting at loosening those EPA regulations. Originally, the EPA wanted two-thirds of new cars sold by 2032 to be electric. But now they might settle for just over 50%, still a far cry from Toyota's conservative estimate. The Joe Biden administration is bringing in more strategies regarding the EPA regulations. The best thing they could come up with was this. Two-thirds of all cars be made electric by the year 2032. Now, that is great because it aligns with what Toyota seems to have in their plans. But the most recent rumors out of Washington point to a shift in strategy. The administration seems willing to compromise and explore requiring somewhat more than 50% of new car sales to be electric by the same deadline, lowering the bar significantly. This change is a step in the right direction, but it is not as aggressive as the EPA had hoped. This possible loosening of laws stands in sharp contrast to Toyota's more cautious position. Even if the Biden administration seems to be lowering its expectations, Toyota is adamant that by 2030, electric vehicles will only account for 30% of the US market. The Environmental Protection Agency definitely wants to fight climate change by promoting electric cars, but Toyota is cautious about making such a big change. Now this seems like a clash between big dreams and practical concerns. The result of this regulatory tug of war will ultimately dictate the course of the automotive industry for many years to come. Even if intriguing startups and established competitors attempt to fill the void, any transition to electric vehicles is likely to be partial in the absence of the largest automaker in the world. It has to be remembered that with 11.3 million vehicles sold worldwide in the previous year, Toyota is the largest car maker by far. However, pro-EV and environmental advocacy groups have recently charged it with being a slow learner when it comes to the necessity of zero emission vehicles. Ted Ogawa, CEO of Toyota Motor North America, talked about the company's consumer dependent stance on electric vehicles in a recent interview with Automotive News. According to Ogawa, Toyota really intends to double the percentage of its sales of pure electric vehicles, which stood at just 0.7% in 2023. However, according to the business, by 2030 EVs would only account for 30% of the US market. Additionally, that amount is much lower than the market for electric vehicles that the Environmental Protection Agency had in mind, not to mention the objectives set by the Biden White House. Though it's not the only company in this instance, Toyota has long been charged with slow walking and even advocating against the adoption of EVs. It is alleged that the Biden administration is thinking of loosening the EPA regulations in response to intense pressure from automakers, dealer associations, and oil firms. The EPA originally proposed that by 2032, sales of new light-duty passenger cars must be composed of two-thirds electric vehicles. Even under a different ruling that the EPA might ultimately decide to implement, more than 50% of vehicles would still need to be electric, again, significantly less than what Toyota is aiming for. Toyota unveiled a number of electric concepts at the Japan Mobility Show last year, including a truck, a compact SUV, a sports car, and a land cruiser. 
Several of these concepts appear likely to go into production. Also, Toyota is making significant progress on solid-state batteries and intends to produce a three-row electric SUV in the United States to rival the Kia EV9 and similar vehicles. Ogawa went on to say that while Toyota would adhere to the new rules, it would also pay attention to what its customers wanted. Adopting EVs all at once would be a wasted investment, worse than buying carbon credits, which are a means for organizations to partially offset their carbon emissions by subtly supporting emission reduction initiatives elsewhere. This dedication is best demonstrated by vehicles like the Toyota BZ4X, the brand's first all-electric SUV with innovative technologies, roomy cabins, and remarkable range. These BEVs represent Toyota's vision of a more environmentally friendly and sustainable future in which driving zero-emission vehicles is essential to halting global warming. There's also another interesting version, the Toyota Prius Prime. It's a plug-in hybrid, so it can run on both electricity and petrol. This car is very fuel efficient and has a sleek, futuristic appearance. It also boasts an abundance of state-of-the-art technologies for a fun and pleasant driving experience. Certain models, such as the Prius Prime and the RAV4 Prime, provide the convenience of petrol power for longer trips while enabling drivers to enjoy emissions-free commuting during their everyday routine. In addition to HEVs, Toyota is doubling down on plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, which offer the flexibility of electric-only driving combined with the extended range of a gasoline engine. Furthermore, Toyota is exploring the potential of fuel cell electric vehicles, such as the groundbreaking Mirai Sedan, which harnesses hydrogen fuel cell technology to generate electricity on the go. FCEVs offer the promise of zero-emission driving with rapid refueling times, addressing concerns about range anxiety and charging infrastructure that often plague battery electric vehicles. While still in the early stages of development, FCEVs represent a promising avenue for sustainable transportation, leveraging alternative fuel sources to power the vehicles of tomorrow. Beyond individual models, Toyota is also investing heavily in infrastructure and ecosystem development to support the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. From expanding charging networks to partnering with renewable energy providers, Toyota is laying the groundwork for a seamless transition to a zero-emission future. By addressing the practical challenges associated with EV ownership, Toyota's future includes plans to make electric mobility accessible and convenient for drivers around the world. The urban SUV and sport crossover are two new car designs that Toyota just introduced. It's uncertain if these electric vehicles will eventually make their way to North America, but they will initially be available in Europe. Next year, a compact electric vehicle called the Urban SUV will be available in Europe. It resembles the well-liked Toyota Yaris Cross Vehicle. In 2025, the Sport Crossover, a stylish sedan with a smooth ride, will make its European premiere. Right now, they already sell the Toyota BZ4X there, and they showed a concept for a small SUV last year. They're also going to reveal two more electric cars soon. But even with all these plans, Toyota is behind some other car companies when it comes to making electric cars. They say they'll release 30 electric cars and sell 3.5 million electric cars by 2030. Toyota also wants to make their luxury brand, Lexus, only sell electric cars by 2035. Toyota is surely getting ready for an incredible adventure. Regardless of your stance on environmental issues or as a diehard petrol head, one thing is certain, Toyota is setting the standard for the electric vehicle of the future. So what do you think of Toyota's EV lineup? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more great EV news.